Good evening, welcome back to my saw shop, shed, whatever you want to call it, where I work on my saws. Um, hi, the face of the channel, hello. Um, the, yeah, welcome back, thanks for all your views. I guess this is part three of this project on this 365 special, uh, which in the last one, we just compression tested it and checked the squish. So the compression was a bit low at about 130. Uh, not not terribly low, not that, not that it ran badly, um, but we've used this big 24 inch bar in quite a lot of things. And uh, yeah, it wasn't you when I got it. So it's a 30 year old saw, isn't it? What year is this? Uh, not very good at reading these. I think this is a 98, maybe. Oh, no, wait, maybe it's no eight. Oh, eight. Um, so yeah, older saw, it pulls about 130 on the compression and the squish was about 43,000. So there's plenty of space there, I think, for a base gasket delete. So in this video, what I'm gonna do is continue disassembling um, and hopefully we'll get to the point where we've pulled the cylinder off. And we'll have a little bit of a look inside and then the video after that will be a bit of porting and putting the new pop-up piston in it. So I'll just get on with um, disassembling this. So five mil, Allen key it is for these. If you can see that, let me move you so you can see what I'm doing a little bit more. So there's just these two bolts on the front. I've already taken the brace off that holds the rest of this on. Never looked inside this saw, completely standard 365 special, as far as I'm concerned. So we'll have a look. Always a classic. First thing you do is tip, tip the uh, exhaust upside down and the two bolts fall out. So we've got the gasket on the inside, got the muffler there. The muffler are not very restrictive at all on these. I don't know if you can see, maybe we can show you with the torch, but they are like just an open box really. So there's very little, no baffles. Same as the 372, very, very little in there that restricts these. I'll just put these there and then I put those two bolts with that gasket so I know where they are. Pretty minging inside there. So some of these, a lot of saws, you can generally just pull apart by just really taking the whole cylinder and the carb out as one. Um, I'll see how it goes with this. I'll flick the rubbers off. Um, apologies if you can't see what I'm doing. I'm just on a bench, so all my tools are in the bench. Um, and I'm just like a good workman putting my five mil back on. I'm gonna keep the four mil back out because I'll need that for the cylinder bolts in a minute. So I'll just put my four mil back on there. Put that over there to the side. And then actually, yeah, what I will do, I think the way I've done these before, this series of saw, is I've just used a little four, it's not four is it, it's a three on these. So I'll just find my, three mil and just undo just trying to keep you in the middle there so you can see what I'm up to new for me this so hopefully you're able hopefully this is useful really just these saws are not complicated to work on um, anybody who does this for a business you know has to and has a building and that sort of thing has to charge a fair labor rate don't they so it's the sort of stuff you can do at home the, the parts are all very easily available for these 300 series saws. Um, the sort of stuff I'm doing is not rocket science really. If you're used to working on engines, um, they're not they're not very difficult really. So I just undo those two screws, which are the main bolts to the cylinder. So you can see the cylinder is now free. Sorry, the carb is now free. I don't know if you can see if I hold you up. So the carb is now free. So what I'll do is I'll take the intake boot off with the cylinder. 
so the boot and the cylinder will all come off as one and the carb will stay on the saw so just need to remember on these yeah the impulse line goes into the case on these so there's no need to disturb that so i just need my trusty needle nose pliers what you do is you need to disconnect the throttle cable so you just literally turn the throttle pull the cable pull it out there and it's also in a little slot down here so just pull that out of the holder it's also useful just to take these this guide out for the carb so let me take that out I store everything just in the um, air filter cover, which I always find is a useful little thing. So that throttle cable just pops out there. Tell this is a well-used saw, can't you? Sawdust everywhere. I'm looking forward to giving this a nice clean once the cylinder's off. So that is all free now. I just literally leave the fuel lines, the carb, everything, the choke, sorry. You can leave everything connected to the carb. And that will come straight out with the cylinder now, is the theory. So we'll just crack these bolts. Always worth when it is a well-used saw like this and there's stuff in here. Just to make sure that the end of the key is in them. Just so that you don't round them or anything. They're never that tight. These are, yeah, very not tight, actually. Pull this little rubber bung out. If anybody knows what this little rubber bung is for, I would absolutely love to know because um, yeah, it's only ever in that cylinder. Yeah, we might have a bit of a problem getting to this. Right, hang on a second. I think we'll just use the good old four mil T-bar for this one. So yeah, you can see how tight these normally aren't because T-bar is normally all you need. There she goes. Lift you up a bit there if you want. You can just see, oh, that's a better view, I guess, isn't it? So yeah, first time I've filmed anything like this, first time I've had a go at filming it, I'm trying to set the camera up in an easy place for you. Um, just hope it's working, hope, hope this is useful for you. So that bolt is undone now. As I've got the T-bar in my hand, I'll just spin that off. Spin the rest of these bolts off. Quite excited about this actually. I think these 48 millimeter saws on this chassis are really good. They're normally available for a bit less money than a 372 XP is. Um, and they are a mega saw. Revy, I quite like a Revy angry, punchy little saw. I really like 262 XPs. Um, yeah, those, those sort of really small Revy punchy saws I really like. So I think these give away very little um, to a 372. Really, 372 is probably a bit gruntier and talkier, but you get these singing and they really are good cutting saws. I tend to take the plug out at this point. This will be getting a new plug anyway, because we'll do a service as part of what we're doing. Now, in theory, I should just be able to pull that up and out she pops. Ah, of course, the impulse line does go through. So this impulse line here, this line just here goes into the case and it goes onto the carb as well. So if you're going to do what I am, I'm doing, because that's a solid hole, you need to disconnect it from the carb and from the case. So it just tends, they tend to slide off really easily off the carb. In fact, I'll just pause you, disconnect these and I'll switch you back on again. There we go. All good. That's disconnected. The last little thing you need to do, of course, is this four mil that just holds the AV spring on. So 
just disconnect that. See how much that cylinder is wobbling about, about. So hopefully, any second now, we will see a piston. So that all comes off. It all just comes off. And there we go, straight off. So let's get the cylinder bolts out. Last one out into there. I just keep everything. I think that that air filter cover is a nice little compartmentalized box. So let's have a look at this cylinder. Really nice actually, isn't it? Still got the factory cross hatching there. Bit of a score, not even a score actually, just a little rub in the plating. Nothing too crazy at all. A little bit of wear on the intake side. Nothing I'll be too worried about. I'll give this a hone before it goes back in. Um, but yeah, generally really happy with that. So I think that's the end for this video really. Just this was, you know, literally a disassembly video. Um, if you wanted to, you can see how these things come apart now very easily. You do whatever you need to do, put a new gasket on, or you can put sealant around there, um, cylinder back on, shut crank, and then, you know, clean everything back up before you do piston back on with some sealant or a new gasket, new piston ring or whatever you wanted to do. Very easy stuff. So thanks for watching again. Do drop us a subscribe. If you found this video useful, do give us a thumbs up on the like button. Um, let's get rid of all this crap. Uh, yeah, give us a thumbs up and the like button if you found this useful. Um, and tune in for the next one where we will be doing the sort of Farmer Jones mods on this cylinder. So we will be, if you can see, removing this, dropping it down towards the transfers, doing a little bit of work in these transfers, uh, and a few other little tricks which have quite a big effect on getting a bit more power out of these little, well, not, not that little, are they? 65cc saws. So thanks for watching, and we'll see you on the next episode. Watch out for some axe stuff as well. New axes just come from Tasmania. That video might be up by the time you watch this. If so, go and check it out if you like axes.